The nun on the run, a Monroe, <laughs> Michigan woman, is set to turn 89 next week, but she's showing no signs at all. Bless her oh, down. Slowing down. <laughs> Bless her heart, right? <laughs> it's now Detroit's Matthew Smith shows us now just days ahead of another Detroit half marathon. Sister Beth Wood is an inspiration, really, to all of us. That's always been my goal, just to cross that finish line. If you ask Beth Woods, she'd say she doesn't run. She says it's more like she plows the ground. But never mind the modesty. At 88, 89 next month, she can move. I think people cheer me when they see my hair rather than they see my speed. It's hard to imagine that she didn't start running till after her 50th birthday. Her brother picked up the phone and asked her to run in a race. And I said, well, I guess so. But that was the launching pad. From that first race to the first marathon, one each year in the 80s. I definitely walked some of that. No, she wasn't the fastest, but that's not what matters. It's no crime, it's no sin to walk in a race. And she should know. In fact, did I mention it's sister Beth Wood? Heck, if you ask her the most important race she ever took part in, it'd probably be the marathon she ran while working in Rome. I have the shirt here. And now this shirt is only half the story. Pope John Paul II himself blessed her. And her training runs? Well, she took those around the historic Colosseum. She still remembers those early morning runs. Then the priests are just thinking about getting up. <laughs> Not really, they're up in the boat. She laughs, but you get the feeling the phrase, the early bird gets the worm, was created for Sister Beth. And don't go expecting her to start sleeping in anytime soon. I would love to run into my 90s. I don't know if that's possible or if that's stretching it for God. I'm leaving it up to God. For the Now Detroit, Aww. I'm Matthew Smith. Wow, it's Faith, I love that whole amazing, story, right? right? Yeah, she's she plows yeah. the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that sweet how she describes it? And inspiring us all along the way, because she's just moving those little legs. But you go, sister. You keep it going. Absolutely. Yes. Can't wait to see how she does. All right, let's check in.